G'day legends, welcome back to Tassie Coin Hunter. Well, I've decided I've had a few questions from different people asking me about my collection and stuff. So I thought, well, got a lot of new subscribers and I thought I'd create another series called uh, maybe Tassie Coin Hunter's Coin Collecting Life or something like that. You'll see it in the description. But So I'm just going to do glimpses through my collection and different stuff and talk about it as I of looking through so if people like it i'll keep doing it i'll do a couple of episodes if people don't like it i won't worry about it but it takes a bit of time to get it out but i've been sifting back through my collection you always go through your collection get rid of some stuff move it move stuff change stuff i always find myself doing that and this one's going to be about what i've picked up in semen marked coins so these are the semen marked ones so we'll have a close look at them, and we'll have a bit of a waffle, and maybe it helps some people, maybe it doesn't, but, you know, if you like it, give it a thumbs up, comment, tell me you want more, and I'll do a few, because I think a lot of new collectors might like it. Do, am I the be-all and end-all when it comes to collecting? No. I'm just an average guy doing what I love, making videos and um, point collecting. All right, we'll put you down, and we'll start. Okie dokie. So this one was actually one of the first ones. Uh, I started coin collecting, and I only really got into it because it's a really, it's a bit of a, you know, weird story, but I was going out to get something looked at, on a, like, a, like a, I was getting a skin check, and I got to check out the skin to make sure everything was okay, and before I went to it, I was running early, I went to a, um, uh, second hand shop, and I was looking for coins going, oh yeah, pennies. I remember doing this when I was a kid, um, so it started me on a on a bit of a collecting journey, and then I googled, I went onto YouTube and I looked for people that did coin collecting, and I ended up coming across PJ's Coin Capers, and started watching him noodling, and I thought, oh, this thing called noodling, how cool was that? So that's where it sort of started. But so this is my first semen. So this is the. Uh, Lest we forget, there's a cement mark there. So lest we forget, it's a beautiful looking coin. Now I think I paid $60 for this at the time. Lest we forget. So has it gone up in value? I don't know. Look at the mintage. 40,000 minted. Oh, see if we can get that to focus. 40,000 minted. So lest we forget the first one so i paid over what it was worth has it gone up in value i haven't ebayed it to see what they look or sell for i haven't folded it i've never folded it um i've just left it as it is and that was my first semen okay now the second one 100 years of repatriation bring them home now i, I um bought this one off I'm not a coin dealer so it was definitely I didn't buy it at the time because it's 2019 coin I hadn't got it brand new from the mint I hadn't even got any coins I bought it because it was a beautiful looking coin and um, yeah there's the C down there C mint so 100 years of repatriation beautiful looking coin but I paid about $60 odd for it again. So you can pause that and read that. Mintage, 40000 Interesting. So that one, haven't folded it. It was folded a little bit, I think. But yeah, I paid about $60. So it paid over what it was worth. Now, then I went, ooh, maybe I could get on the Royal Australian Mint website and... I bought, I believe this was the next one I bought. So, end, end of the Second World War. Beautiful looking coin. I really do like this coin. The dubs. So, when I got the chance, I jumped on the Royal Australian Mint website. And at that time, you could buy 10. So, I bought 10. 10 C-Mints for about, I don't know, might have been... 
twelve fifty, maybe release price. It was definitely under fifteen dollars. Forty thousand minted. And what I did was I sold some, I traded some, swapped some, gave them as presents, and um, yeah, it gave me a chance to get a few funds to keep buying more coins. So that's what I did. So there you go. Absolutely beautiful coin, never folded it. It's just been sitting in my folder, and I'm down to one. I only kept one for myself. Okay, so I got that idea, and I thought, well, that's pretty cool. Now, I can't remember 100% what was next, because um, I think it was... The indigenous link, indigenous service. Now I don't know if I can get this out far enough. Indigenous service. I think that was the next one. So I bought ten of these as well. We might have to turn that around so you can see it. Okay. It's a beautiful looking coin. Cement mark there. Now what's the vintage? 50,000 so the mintage has gone up so 2021 so I may, have, I may have bought one before it actually so indigenous service defending the country absolutely amazing coin really do love it now ah this might have been this was the 2021 okay so the firefighter coin now I don't know if it really took off that well but I think it was a beautiful looking coin. I'm going to have to come in on an angle again. I have to screw that around. So you can just change the location. So here we go. Cement mark over there. Oh, the firefighters, beautiful. So that was a 2020 coin. Now let's look at the mintage. 40,000. So the mintage must have went up. And that was a 20... 2021, so the vintage has gone up by 10 million, no, 10,000, 10 million, indeed. sorry about that, 40 million, 40,000, I can't know why I keep saying million, 40,000, 50,000, okay, so I also picked this up in um, normal one as well, normal carded, I got Siemens and normal carded, so there you go, that one, now, that brings us up to, just got to look through these, 2021, when second counts, when seconds count. So we got the ambulance coin, let's have a little zoom in on that, so we got the same one of that. I bought 10 of these as well, traded, gave some away as gifts, and ended up with just one. It wasn't exactly the most popular Seeming coin of all, still a very nice looking coin, and um, yeah, now the mintage 50,000. Okay, so the mintage is still up around 50,000. So I was pretty happy with that. Now, probably one of my favorite coins, and it's a beautiful design, is the Seeming Honeybee. The Honeybee, wow! Now, this one's a funny one, I bought 10 of them again. But I was late to the party, and it took me a week and a half to get on the Royal Australian Mint website and do it, and you could still buy them. No one really cared. So, same deal. I sold some off. I kept some. Sold some. Ended up with one. one. Now they've gone crazy, so the motto is maybe maybe I should have kept some. But sea mints always seem to make money. But nowadays they've gone so crazy that you just can't get to them anymore. I don't even bother. So it's changed. So there's a cement mark. So I picked this up for retail price. 2022. Alright. So. Now. Mr. Controversial. So this one. This one that caused all that trouble again. Cement Poppy. So... The first poppy came out in 2012, and in 2022 they re-released it, the cement version. So, oh, we, we did the mintage on that one, didn't we? 
No, we did the mintage on this one. Let's do the mintage back on the 60,000 now. So it's going up by another 10,000, the Siemens. See how the coin is getting more and more popular. So the red one. I picked this up for $15 recommended retail price. Um, my local shop kept one for me because I buy a lot of my coins off them. So they said, we'll keep you one. So the mintage is 60000 Now I reckon they could have done 100000 They were still sold them all out. But um, the price has seemed to come back on these a bit. So, see mint mark. And 2022. Now, another one that wasn't that popular. It hasn't really seemed to kick any goals. Um, 25th anniversary of peacekeeping. It hasn't really done a lot as far as I can tell. Now, I haven't looked for a while. But it is a really nice looking coin. And I really do like it. So I'm glad to have it. Um, same deal, bought 10 of them. No one seemed to worry about it. So it's a 2022. Cement mark up there. Really enjoyed the coin. There we go, the Jody Clark effigy again. So, what's the mintage? 60,000. Okay, so it's going up by another 10,000 interesting so coin collecting is getting more and more sought after people are more and more getting into it so we're getting more and more now no one that had to wait up for half the night to get this the um 50th anniversary of vietnam war beautiful looking carded coin beautiful looking coin the silver proof one the silver coin went absolutely nuts didn't ever get a chance to get hold of one I think they're still pulling around the $700 mark, but they went up to about $1,800 at one stage. Now, the Vietnam one, look at that. Beautiful cement mark down there. And there we go again. 2023 Memorial Effigy. Now, let's look at the mintage. 80000 So you can see is when I started collecting them, have gone from 40,000 to 80,000. And this one was snapped up pretty quick. I noticed it went up and the actual value has dropped back. You could probably pick them up for around $60 now. I think you were getting close to 100. But now they're probably down to about 60. So has making the mintage higher ruined them? I don't know. Everyone wants them. But what are they going to be like in the future? I think it's a beautiful coin and I'm happy to have it in my collection. Well, there you go. Um, let me know if you've enjoyed my look at Cement Mark coins. And I'll just keep going through the collection and different stuff. My $2 collection, um, errors or whatever. I'll just do different videos if people like it. Um, otherwise, I'll, I won't. But I enjoy getting them out and having a chat anyway. So let me know. But apart from that, I um, hope your coin collecting world is going well. Don't get too stressed if you miss out on something. Sometimes you wait a while, and if you really want them, you can come back and pick them up a lot cheaper in the future. So, don't stress. They're still out there. Okay, legends. Thank you again. Tazzy Coin Hunter is out.